Hey guys, my name is Crystal Elisa. Thank you so much for dropping by. Be sure to subscribe for more great content. Today's video is not one that I had planned in any shape or form. I never thought I would be making this video, especially me who is all like, oh, you don't really need a carpet in your house. It's kind of optional. You can go for like other options. <laughs> Apparently not because I, I watched Yvonne Kendi's video with DIY Jojo and they went to Toy and got amazing carpets. They actually went to Toy and like went to a shop with amazing carpet the day before yesterday at like 5 6 p.m is when i watched her video <sighs> the sun has come out i apologize if things look crazy in this video but you know how things are on this channel with the sun so yeah i watched their video where they went and actually visited different stalls that sell carpets at toy and for whatever reason i've always gone to toy for like clothes and handbags and shoes never looked at it for carpets and like home stuff so even that section of toy that they went to i usually don't go to right so uh, i i watched that video on today is friday so i watched that video on wednesday at like 5 p.m thursday morning I was on the phone with the guy because I had provided his number because there was a carpet that I saw that I fell absolutely in love with me and anything to do with herringbone like we're, we're literally like this so and I saw the whitish grayish maybe looking carpet I was like this is the one this is a sign from above because weirdly enough I've been thinking about it since the weekend that my dream carpet is no longer my dream carpet like I wanted to switch things up and like open myself up to different possibilities so I feel like it was I felt like it was a sign from God just telling me like this this is where you need to go to go get your carpet you know and then i saw my dream carpet in that video and i was like this is the one so i got on the phone with the guy yesterday morning which was thursday morning literally called him at like 10 11 a.m and i was like is that carpet still in stock i'll send you the picture on whatsapp called him back he tells me it's in stock it's waiting for you just come and get it i was like i will be there in an hour do you know what happened i get there literally in an hour i told him i'd be there by 1 p.m because he finally got back to me at around 12 i was like i'm leaving the house now specifically for that carpet do you know i arrive and the guy has sold it i arrive and not only has he sold it he tells me oh i've just sold it it's just gone and i'm like you knew i was coming we've had this conversation like what is your problem i was so upset because i got a carpet yes and you will see it in like the <laughs> updated house tour that's been coming for a minute but the problem is i feel like it's not quite big enough for the space so i want something bigger so that even like i feel less cold when i'm in the space and like it feels a bit cozier and you know just those little things so i was so heartbroken that my carpet was there when i called but he, he just couldn't be bothered to like keep it for me for like a few seconds you know so yeah i was really really disappointed and um yeah so i wasn't even planning to like film anything i was just like you know what i'm just done with you i needed a minute so i was like he offered me like other carpets at like a discounted rate because he'd seen how much he disappointed me but then i was like you know what let me just take a walk <laughs> think things through and then i'll get back to you and the two carpet shops they went to were like right next to each other so even when i drove there i saw the other carpet shop first before i saw this other guy so the guy who disappointed me was was sam in their video i'll even put his number down below because eventually we made up and i wouldn't be doing a carpet haul if i only picked up one so clearly i have big problems but um yeah i'll put his number down below as well as the number of the other guy that i went to and like bought a carpet first to, like calm my soul and then i went back to sam and apparently he has he just he just has amazing carpets in stock so I ended up picking up way more carpets than anyone needs in one tiny little house like mine but for i can justify each and every one of them so let's just get into it right let's just get into the carpets that i picked up in toy market <laughs> So that's like the longest intro ever but I feel like it's really important that you understand where I was coming from and like my frame of mind because when I saw that hair and bone carpet I was like this is exactly the thing that will meet my need like give me contentment for like the next few years right and then he tells me he's just sold it I was so disappointed that now I'm trying to fill the hole that that carpet has left in my heart does that make sense so that is why we kind of went nuts and I'll just pull them closer to me i don't even know if you can see them <laughs> over here so i did get quite a few of them and we'll start with the smallest like the largest so you can get an idea of where each of these carpets is going to go and i really wanted to do this video first just so that when i'm doing the house tour then you'll actually see them in action and you'll be able to understand what i was thinking as i was picking them up so well um 
<laughs> what I'm going to tell you is each of them is four five. The little ones, the tiniest ones were 500. He sold them to me at 400. Um, the medium one was 1200. So let's get into it. So I'm going to open them up and like show them to you as much as I possibly can in this video. But I just wanted to show them to you like this because I literally haven't unpacked them because obviously they're not packed. They're just like wrapped together with this um, string. These are the three that I bought from Sam. He pissed me off, but he has amazing carpets. And this is the one that I got that like made me feel better and gave me the urge to like continue shopping and like see what else is available. Right. So the first one, actually, I said I'd start with the smallest to the biggest. So this is the oh wait no smallest to biggest i literally i'm not even paying attention to what i am saying these are um those like bath mat type of carpets those little ones i actually want to get towels and just like cut them up and use them in those spaces but then when i saw this print and like the material i was like even when i get a towel to go in that space it wouldn't give me these same vibes so i was actually really into this this isn't even the first one that i picked up but i liked that this one was versatile so i could use it like front facing or back facing and get like different unique designs so i was really into that again i like black just because i don't have to wash them like every single day and if i got a white one or a lighter colored one i feel like that would be the case you know so yeah i got this for 400 shillings which i don't think is a bad deal i don't think it's a great deal either like i i i was kind of like what's the point of paying 500 for two when i can just get like a bigger one for 1200 right but the guy then went down to 400 and i was like ah i like them i'm here i'm trying to like make my heart happy so yeah i like this one this is the first one that I picked, but this is the second bath mat that you're seeing. And I really wish I could get like a towel in this material just because I feel like it's so interesting. And the texture of it is what makes me really happy. So yeah, this is like a black, navy blue black one. I'm not even sure, but I really liked the color. Again, it was a darker one, so I don't feel like I'll have to wash it every five minutes. It is quite large, so for 400 shillings, I feel like this isn't a bad deal. And yeah, I like it this i absolutely love because i really love color and i want to introduce more pops of color into my space so when i saw this and it has like a little doll on one side it has this and i just think it's adorable so yeah i love that it's pink and yellow and white and orange like it's very bright and very happy and i'm thinking this can go under the washing machine so what i really loved about these little ones is that i can use them as area rugs and i can throw them in the washing machine without having to really think too hard about it you know so i was very very excited about that so yeah this one was 1200 shillings and I think it's absolutely 100% worth it. You can see it's quite long. So yeah, it will go under the washing machine really quite well. Okay, so now for the carpets. You can see clearly I got a fluffy one because I've had a fluffy rug on my mind for a minute. And especially with all this cold and like I hate cold, so I don't really do very well with it. So um, yeah, I got the fluffy one to like make my heart happy. And then I fell in love with these three, especially this brown one down here. And brown Brown isn't even my color scheme, but you should have seen me trying to talk myself out of buying it, like at the shop. It was a little bit hilarious. So yeah, these are the three that I got from Sam and this fluffy one I got from Dennis. So I'm just going to refocus the camera and open them up so you can get a better look. Okay, so like I was saying, with this cold weather, I wanted to get this. I can't remember the exact measurement, so just like <laughs> bear with me on that. But this should be five by eight. I don't think I got a five by seven or smaller, so they should be five by eight and bigger. And I was absolutely obsessed with the way this felt. It feels so cozy when you touch it. So I'm really excited to like walk on it, though I really walk around barefoot in my house like i'm always in socks but for four five i feel like this is better quality than the shaggy ones that you see everyone walking around like selling for three five so and i was literally on the verge of buying one of those just because i wanted a shaggy carpet so much so i absolutely loved this i feel like it will add so much texture into this house so much needed texture into this house so yeah i was really really excited to pick this up you can see the size of it it's actually quite large don't know if you can <laughs> see the size of it but um yeah five by seven is what i currently have and i've always wanted something just a little bit bigger so i do want something that fills the space up more and makes it feel a bit more cozy so this 
very excited to like lay it down and test it and i am actually going to be putting these on the ground and actually like testing them out in the space and like seeing how they go with the decor so i'm not going to show you the whole house just because there is a house tour coming but i feel like i really wanted to do this video first just so that i can choose what carpet i'm going to go for as like my everyday vibe in the house before i shoot that video which is why i feel like this is what the house tour video has been waiting for because there's really no reason for me not to shoot an updated one but then i keep dilly dallying and i feel like this is exactly why so yeah all of these carpets were not in the budget so if you've watched my budgeting videos you know i'm a bit um picky about the things that i add into my collection that are not in my budget but this is why i have that little extra buffer in my budget because i know if i ever need to go nuts with something then i have that little amount that will cushion me sort of so four carpets in this space is not something necessary for anyone in the world but i do feel like they gave me a lot of joy especially because we're coming into my birthday month i can just call all of these birthday gifts and like leave it to that so you can see that it is a very nice fluffy shaggy rug and what i really like about dennis is that he actually explained each carpet that i looked at to me so it felt like even though he was offering me different options in his shop it wasn't like he was just trying to sell me something so i had actually seen a different fluffy rug um at the same price point and he was like oh you like that one let me show you this one which is better quality but the same price it seemed like maybe the other one was a bit sparser in like the fluffiness or not as cozy maybe i don't know whatever the issue was he showed me this one i fell in love with this one so i picked it up and what i really like about it is that it complements my couch the way i hoped my current rug would complement it so when it was out in like the sunlight it looked really light and like bright so closer to white than gray but then when it came into the space it was in the same sort of shade range as my couch so i feel like it's a bit too monotone in the space which is why i've been wanting like a lighter carpet in the space just so that everything isn't looking quite so flat so i feel like this fluffy one compared to like my cushions compared to my couch is going to complement it really well and i do have something that i'm planning to do with this couch anyway so um i feel like it will work really well even with those future plans so from dennis's shop dennis whose phone number is on the screen and in the description down below i picked up this shaggy carpet for four five thousand shillings they're around 4500 5000 shillings so i think i paid 5000 for this 1200 for this and 800 for these two so this is from dennis the one that i went to when i was throwing a tantrum because sam had really pissed me off right then i went back to sam because dennis had this particular carpet this one with like the diamond um pattern in it he had this but he had it in white and i felt like it wasn't exactly what i wanted like i couldn't make myself like settle for it just because this in between section like this part is gray on this gray carpet but with the white one you could see more of like a golden sort of threading through it and i wasn't really feeling that because it just kind of made it feel unfinished and it's actually the same as the other carpets that he had it's like that was their base construction material if that makes sense so he actually had the same carpet that i have right now on my floors in his shop but then um the little puff balls in between them you could see that same threading and i was like it just feels unfinished like it doesn't really convince me that it's like a done good non mtumba carpet you know so rather mtumba is good quality right so this one just looked like bulk made you know just like the attention to detail wasn't there whereas with the gray one the little in between parts actually look like part of the design right so i went back to sam because i couldn't stop thinking about this carpet this is the one he offered me on discount to replace the herringbone one that i missed out on so because they were right next to each other i just finished with dennis and i went back to sam and i got these three carpets from him i had no intentions of buying three carpets yesterday i had no business buying three carpets yesterday but i'll talk you through each and every one of them and like my thought process behind it and hopefully you can understand why i have no regrets buying three carpets yesterday unplanned not in the budget but definitely worth it okay so the very first carpet we have is this like tribal print looking one i feel like it's actually coming through quite true to color on camera I absolutely love this. I feel like with a carpet like this, you either love it or you hate it. But this one actually spoke to like the grandma inside me. And I was just feeling so cozy when I looked at it, right? And also it is a bigger size than the other one. So I was really excited about that. And I feel like it will complement the space really well just because I've been looking for like a dark gray carpet. And this one has dark gray elements. Oh, you can't even see. <laughs> this one has dark gray elements to it, like in these um sort of tree pattern shapes here. And then it has a bit 
bit of pink in it and I want to get pink curtains soon and it still has a light gray like going through it so I feel like this complements everything that I want for this space really really well as well as looking like sort of grandma-ish vibes which are very cozy and like comforting and like homey so yeah this carpet I literally looked at it and it was the third choice like of the three I wanted to pick two but then like I definitely had to come home with it just because every time I thought about leaving it I would think of like in the future because everything that I buy now I see applications for it in my future right so whenever I would look at this carpet I would imagine it in like my baby's nursery and like when I have a girl this is definitely going to be her carpet so that is my excuse for buying it yesterday because in the future years when I eventually have a child I don't want to like go on the hunt for this specific carpet especially because it is like a bit tribal so I feel like it's a bit cooler and like it's a girl vibe without being too girly so yeah when I eventually have a girl this is going to be in her nursery this is going to be in her room and I'm really really excited about that so yeah i'm gonna um i'm not gonna open it up too much because i'm gonna put it down on the ground so you can actually see it but i feel like the quality is really good it is pretty thick so even like when i touch it i can tell it will be very comfortable to walk on so yeah i had no choice the grandma in me would not let me leave it i definitely had to bring it home and i have no regrets none no buyer's remorse whatsoever next carpet that i got is this diamond print one and i feel like this one speaks for itself it's just such a really nice cozy looking very like it adds a really nice pattern to the space so i feel like that's what i was going for with like this um puffball carpet of mine but then it sort of disappointed me because it's not as puffy as i expected it to be so it's very flat it just kind of looks geometrical but not really and i feel like this kind of makes up for it this is actually a very similar color to the carpet that i have now but i really liked the pattern and i felt like having something this solid and like gray and beautiful i love how i'm just touching it like you can see it from all the way over there but i um, yeah i felt like having something this like plainly gray and like solid and beautiful was going to be really advantageous to have in my space especially once everything goes up and like all the different colors that i want to incorporate come in i feel like this will be a really nice like rounding point for the house you know so yeah i could not leave this and not hate myself so every time i go shopping i'm like what can i leave and like live without so i'll insert pictures here of the other carpets that i'm obsessed with that i had to walk away from a because of budget because i wasn't going to spend seven thousand on one carpet that i didn't really like <laughs> like i love it i love the way it looks i think it's such a beautiful beautiful color like whoever has a color scheme in their house is going to be absolutely the luckiest person to have that carpet but it's not my color scheme so there was a blue carpet that i absolutely 100 percent loved and i felt like whoever bought it would be the luckiest person in the world but i don't want a blue carpet blue is not my favorite color i love navy like this dark blue that you're seeing over here yeah? but even that is just for one wall and one wall alone blue is my least favorite color so even like in videos i rarely ever wear blue so um having a carpet like having that much blue like in my face was just unacceptable and especially spending seven thousand to have that in my space when i'm not really big on it is not good but the material was amazing the pattern was so fun like so interesting and it just it felt like a really refreshing carpet to have in your space if your theme is blue mine is not another one that i knew i loved but i definitely would be okay with leaving is a brown themed carpet so they had amazing cream like brown carpets but that's just not my color palette right so i just could not talk myself into buying that particular beautiful well, absolutely like the pattern again is just so fun it was like wiggles and i feel like that would be such a fun thing to look down at your floor and see you know but then the carpet was brown it was brown and it was double-sided which i absolutely loved but then i was like brown is not my color theme and it was like a really really strong brown so you can't even pretend that it's not a brown brown carpet with a gray couch and like a blue wall and yes my furniture is brown and my theme is very like wicker centered and like very homey and like earthy but i felt like the brown was just a bit too too much however however <laughs> watch me justify the hell out of getting this last carpet this is the last one that i got <laughs> what color is this literally look what i did i went and bought myself a brown carpet after all my justification on why i don't need a brown carpet it doesn't work in my space it doesn't fit my vibe i saw this i fell in love with it i absolutely could not leave it i could not justify in my mind why i would walk away from such a beautiful carpet even though it doesn't fit my space today when i have a bigger space i will definitely find use for it so like i say i invest for the long term and especially for it to have been such a good price like 4500 
for this carpet i feel like it's such a steal so it's not the thickest carpet in the world this is the outside of the carpet this is the inside of the carpet i have bureau with like better um like a clearer showing of what the carpet looks like but look at this like a double-sided carpet a carpet that i can use on both sides <sighs> I would hate myself if I left it. So that's why I just could not leave it. And that's the difference between the things that I can live without, like the things that I'm okay with, with maybe a little bit of regret in leaving it, but then like I can live without it versus the things that I know for sure this will haunt me at night. So even when I was taking them, I was telling these guys like these two carpets, because I'd actually just gone back for this, um, like the diamond print one i had just gone back for it and i was like you know what um i keep thinking about it even as i'm shopping this other guy's shop so might as well just go back and like take a look and make sure i really really don't want it when i saw it again i was like yes especially compared to the white one definitely want this one but then i saw these two and she's like choosing between these two whichever one i chose i would go back for the other one the next day so i felt like there's no point in putting myself through that let me just save myself the fuel and like buy it all at once and then like deal with the consequences of that purchase at a later date so yeah this carpet i have no regrets whatsoever i love it even though it's brown i feel like it has enough cream in it to like work in the space and also with all my brown furniture and like my wicker furniture leanings that you will see in the house tour i promise you will see that it actually does complement really well with that so i feel like this is absolutely perfect and i can't finish this house tour without giving a shout out to my very first carpet that has currently been replaced by all these cozier options because it didn't really warm up the space it brought it together quite nicely and i showed it to you in my first house tour but it didn't really add any warmth to the space so still feel like it needs a shout out this is the siso i think is a material carpet that i had um i'll just insert a picture so you can see what it used to look like in the space still absolutely love it still have this so when i got my new carpet i planned to move this into my bedroom but now that i have all of these options and they actually have to get used somehow so now i plan to use one of them in the bedroom at all times so i'll always have like two backup carpets Sort of. And then this other one will just be waiting until I eventually move to a bigger house, which I mean, it might be happening sooner rather than later. You never know, right? So, um, yeah, I will definitely eventually find use for all of these things. But for now, I'm just very grateful that I was able to buy them and like own them. I'd love to know what your opinions are. Which carpet do you think I should go with as like my main sitting room carpet? And then the other ones can be alternating. Maybe when the carpet is being washed, then I can put them in or um, yeah, just which one do you think I should go with first? because I love all of them equally and I'm super, super torn, but I'm kind of feeling the grandma vibes. Like I'm kind of feeling like this tribal-esque one. It reminds me of something you'd see in like a really old person's house. Like I feel like this, this goes with like the, the cloths that go on top of seats. And you know, I feel like this, this fits in perfectly there, but I feel like it's gray enough to be quite modern as well. So I'm really excited to put this to use. So yeah, out of all of them, which one do you think actually should be in the space first which one do you think should be in the space for the house tour is basically it so yeah i'd love to know down below in the comments let me know what your opinions on that are and also i feel like i was a bit unhappy with my current carpet just because i feel like it's a bit thin like i want a thicker cozier carpet to like step on as i'm walking around so i actually pulled out this from storage this i've had for like five years never used it not once but it's finally coming in handy now because i don't like this color but my grandparents give it to me to like walk up my space as i was planning my carpet so i feel like this can go underneath all of the carpets and like add a thicker layer to everything Oof, it's actually <laughs> quite dusty literally just pulled it out of storage but um yeah i feel like this can go underneath each of the carpets and like add a second layer of like warmth to everything so yeah i'm going to be putting this down first and then we'll see which one actually feels most right in the space but i would like your opinions on that but i'm gonna stop rambling because i feel like this carpet haul has been <laughs> way too long i'll link um Yvonne candy's video down below i also saw um diy jojo i don't know i don't I, like i don't know what else to call them so you can know them but um yeah DIY why jojo also posted her video on the same um shopping experience so i'll link them down below so you can also check them out they helped me find these shops they helped me <laughs> blow my budget and i'm very grateful for that so definitely check them out for more information um the location of these shops is near toy primary so if you just put toy primary in google maps along that road like leading up to toy primary is where you will find these shops so whenever like if you just walk down that road you'll actually look and you'll see them and it's closer to the end like 
closer to Toy Primary than it is to Winners Chapel. But it is the small Winners Chapel at Adams, the toy one. And um, at the back of the Winners Chapel, there's a little road leading into Toy into the actual toy from like the Adams area. I hope that makes sense. So yeah, when you go along that little road is where the shops are. Just wanted to clarify in case anyone wanted to know. So yeah, um, I'm going to leave everything in the description box below. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you want to see more hauls, because this haul actually means that I'm not going to go to Mr. Price? No. Uh, think twice. I'm not going to go on a think twice uh, shopping spree or a Kamkunji one as I had promised because now all the funds that I had allocated to that have officially <laughs> been spent on this and I have no regrets. So yeah, let me know what else you want to see on this channel. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe and I will see you in my next video. <laughs> Jonathan? <laughs> they know, they know. They know. <laughs> 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 I'm not